So what's going on everyone? Soviet bear here. So as I can see, NATO is still bolstering its presence in Central and Eastern Europe. And uh, they have announced uh, military drills in Poland this June of this year. And of course the Baltic states, oh, the Baltic states, they, I think they, they so, they are so indoctrinated. They believe in Russian threat. I think they worship Russian threat instead of God. <laughs> yeah. So, what can I say? Well, the true imperialists, they don't want Russia to be strong and great and independent. And uh, in 1991, when the Soviet Union dissolved, they announced their victory. They announced the end of story. And Russia plunged into chaos, into poverty, into economic collapse. But then, in 1999, Vladimir Putin came to power. And he began to restore Russia. To, as many may say, to make Russia great again. Like Donald Trump says. So, he jailed or expelled most odious oligarchs. He returned control of energy companies, natural resources, and military industrial complex, control of a military industrial complex back to the Russian government. And my person I personally believe that it is the government that should control military industrial complex and not the other way around. But anyway, despite all of that, many people in alternative media, in the Western anti-war movement, still say that, oh, Russia is just another imperialist nation in competition with Washington. Guys, I think it is a very, it's a gross miscalculation. It is a delusion. Russia is not an imperialist nation. Russia is on the front lines, lines, and fr on the front lines of fighting imperialism. Why do I think so? Look at Russia's action in Syria. Russia's actions in Syria. We sent our troops, our aircraft, our air force to bomb. ISIS, Al-Nusra, and other terror groups to help our ally Bashar al-Assad. For six months we've, we were pounding ISIS and other groups. And now Syrian army has liberated Palmyra. So, and what? We, just, we, were, we were just helping our ally. We did not strive to occupy Syria, to install our puppet state in Syria, or to make it our colony or part of our, of our empire. That's why Russia is not an imperialist state. And yeah, we were for those people who still believe that USA is fighting terrorism in the Middle East, we, Russia, achieved way more success in doing so in six months than USA in a couple of years. A little bit bizarre, isn't it? And another thing you should take into account that Russia has spent only 600 i'm sorry 460 million dollars and as as far as i know america spends 9 million each day so yeah this is the answer to those who think 
Oh, Russia pulled back because they were out of money. No. In fact, our pilots have gained combat experience and it and our operation is as expensive as a, a conventional a common military drills and our pilot gained experience in the real war which is way more valuable so yeah but many of you will say that Russia just pursues its selfish interests well every nation has its selfish interests but Russia does not pursue our its selfish interests at the account of our allies' interests. We will for sure establish new trade ties with Syria, and um, but Syria is a sovereign nation. We do not wish to make it our puppet state, and Syria will remain sovereign and we guarantee their sovereignty this is this is quite this is the very opposite of imperialism so yeah think about it if you are a true anti-imperialist you should stand with russia don't call Russia as evil as USA. This is a great delusion. I also dedicate this video to our hero, to our new hero, as uh, Western, the Western media, some Western media called him Russian Rambo. His name is Alexander Prokhorenko. Yes, here he is. Alexander Prokhorenko, 25, from Orenburg Oblast, from the village in or he was born in the village of Orenburg Oblast, and since his childhood, he always wanted to become a military man, and to do an act of courage, an act of valor, and that is what he did in Syria. As we say in Russia, may he rest in heaven. Tsarstvo ему небесное. Yeah. And this should be a lesson to all of our potential enemies. Don't you see how Russian soldiers and officers, and he in fact was an officer, are ready to sacrifice our lives fighting for the interests of the motherland? He called airstrike on himself he was a target designator for that guy was a target designator for Russian Air Force and he was surrounded by icy thugs and he called an airstrike on himself he died but many of ISIS died with him so ask yourself a question would he hesitate if he was surrounded by NATO soldiers instead of ISIS soldiers I think he wouldn't. And that is a kind of self-sacrifice that won us World War II. So once again, all of potential invaders of Russia, you should think about it. Who are you messing with? Well, that is it, guys. Soviet bear out. Peace. And don't worry, more and more videos are coming at you. Bye.